Hey everybody, it's Dr. Karen and I've got a great lab to go over with you today. Now I'm getting really good at this fancy uh, color lab. So I put together something really nice for you today. Now let's first take a look at this is TB. She's 58 years old. She's past menopause. And let's take a look at purple down here. This is what she's currently taking. Benadryl and 20 milligrams of melatonin. So that gives me a clue right there as to what she might not be happy with. And I would consider that meaning not sleeping very well. So let's go on up here to the yellow and look at estradiol progesterone and then the progesterone to estrogen ratio. Now she's not on any hormone replacement therapy now and what we see is a very low estradiol, a low progesterone, that's low uh, progesterone even though this shows in the normal postmenopausal range she doesn't want to be postmenopausal range, so she's at the low end of normal if she were postmenopausal, but you have to remember that's pretty doggone low if you want to optimize your hormones. But when you look at the progesterone to estrogen ratio, she's still low and in fact significantly low. So using the chart that I've provided before, TB is going to fit very nicely into this category here. She is postmenopausal, up to 10 years postmenopausal. She's 58. She's less than three estradiol, and then she's less than 50 progesterone. So this is going to be what she needs right here. And I am not surprised at all because her sleep is very disturbed. So hormone heaven and hormone protect are needed. Now hormone heaven is that mix of biased and progesterone and hormone protect is progesterone only. So progesterone is very important for your sleep. So I have a feeling she'll probably be coming off of this Benadryl and that would be good because Benadryl leaves you feeling kind of groggy in the morning and can dull your senses as well. So I, I don't mind the melatonin. Melatonin's wonderful, but she may see that she can cut back on the melatonin as well. So we've got two pumps of hormone heaven in the morning and two pumps of hormone heaven at night and then one pump of hormone protect in the morning and one pump of hormone protect at night. Now if sleep is severely disturbed it would not be of any problem at all for her to use hormone protect both pumps at night to give herself um, uh, more progesterone at night. So this is what I would personally recommend. Two pumps of Hormone Heaven in the morning and night and one pump of Hormone Protect morning and night or using both of those pumps of Hormone Protect at night. Now I really want to go a little bit further because why not, right? She was very smart, wanted to check her estriol and wanted to her, test her estrone. So she's low or low normal and low in estriol and uh, low normal or, or perfectly fine for estrone, which is great. She's got a BMI. Now you see the green here. Let's go up and look at green here. She's got a BMI of 27, which is overweight and an uh, increase. Uh, abdominal girth. So this is her waist, which is 33 inches. I'm sure she wants to get that down. I'm sure she wants to get that down. So we look at estrone specifically after menopause that goes up from fat cells. Fat cells produce estrone. That's the estrogen we don't want. So I like to look at these before I recommend a hormone heaven because if this was an elevated estrone then I might recommend hormone support but she's perfectly fine with this estrone of only 1.5. Now let's take a look at what might be causing this increased abdominal size. 
Well, look at this. Her testosterone is on the upper end of normal with not out taking any testosterone at all. Now that tells me something. That tells me that either her DHEA is elevated, which it is not, or that her cortisol is elevated because when cortisol is elevated, the adrenal glands produce more testosterone. The other time is when somebody has PCOS. I don't suspect that with TB because she, she's really, the, the abdominal size is not that big. It's just kind of goes along with her, her BMI. So it's really not that large. She probably doesn't like it, but it's not huge. So, but if it were, if she were an apple-shaped body and this was a lot bigger, I would be concerned that she also had PCOS. And my recommendations would be a little different. So let's take a review of this now. I believe that, so we've got this cortisol. This is the morning cortisol of 8.7, upper end of normal. Let's, that, that's even with Benadryl and melatonin. So I suspect we've got a little stress or cortisol issue going on as well. So here's my recommendations. Let's start with the hormone heaven, the hormone protect, get this ratio fixed, and these will take care of that perfectly. The second thing I recommend is Adrena Vive, and this is an orthomolecular product. I'd highly recommend TB take it at night, even though normally I recommend taking it in the morning. For TB, I'm gonna recommend it at night because I think her morning cortisol is on the upper end of normal, and she's producing more testosterone that is probably causing this abdominal weight gain. And that is something we don't like. Now, you know how guys are. Guys tend to uh, put their weight on in the, in the midsection. And that's a lot of testosterone does that. So we're not trying to decrease testosterone. We're just trying to control it and balance it with Hormone Heaven and Hormone Protect at the same time is relaxing those adrenal glands and letting her sleep better at night and balance her hormones better. All right, so that was a doozy. I hope you liked it. And remember, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any videos. And send me your labs if you send me your labs. And I'm only going to do this for a very short time, just a few more days left. So send me your labs and I will be happy to help you out too. Okay, have a great day. Bye-bye.